What's up guys, it's your boy Farwild and back again with another commentary and I must apologise for the lack of content over the last week or two um, just came back from my holiday and didn't really I don't really have time to be honest but I'm trying to get back to that once a week schedule that I uh, have maintained for most of the year in fact I'm quite happy with that most of the time it's on Mondays let's see if we can keep that up um, first of all I would like to talk about the Gamescom competitive Halo scene. This is what I'm going to be talking about. This is the topic for the commentary today. And I'd like to focus on a few things. Firstly, they announced the Halo World Championships. Now, <clears throat> that's brilliant to hear because most of the time North Americans dominate the Halo scene and European players are good but not nearly as good. But now it's called a World Championships rather than just HCS Halo Championship Series. They by calling it World Championships, they're giving people an incentive to play. And and an even bigger incentive is the, the biggest investment in Xbox history. One million dollars plus prize pool. One million dollars. I can't actually get my head around that sum of money. I mean, for Xbox, for Microsoft, it's probably not that much. But as an incentive for players, man, that is absolutely insane. And you can clearly see that Xbox and Halo are definitely trying to push competitive, the competitive Halo experience. So, to kick this off, they actually recorded a competitive Halo 5 game between Epsilon Esports and Optic Gaming amongst others. And they also had the Invitational Competition at Gamescom. Now, they're obviously trying to push this really, really hard because, well, you wouldn't show competitive games if you weren't trying to push your game. Like, when we saw Halo 4, there was... There wasn't really anything, was there? When the games come before Halo 4, there was nothing to be seen about competitive play, really. And this is probably some of the biggest news that, um, that I've came across. ESL will continue to broadcast, and Twitch will also be the one, the broadcasting domain, if you like. But now, MLG and YouTube Gaming have joined Halo as well. Now this is brilliant news, especially for MLG because, well for Halo in terms of MLG because MLG used to support Halo but it dropped it uh, during Halo 4 uh, basically as soon as the game launched realising it wasn't good enough. Now now Halo 5 is on the horizon, MLG said we got your back bro, we're going through this one more time. So MLG is obviously the biggest competitive broadcasting company in the world basically and it's great to see them join Halo once again because this will obviously bolster um, competitive play and now people can't really say oh Halo is an MLG, it hasn't got MLG because it has and it's looking good, it's looking good. Now as for YouTube Gaming, this is even, this is really good for YouTube because YouTube Gaming at the moment is it's, it's still in construction if you like, it's, it's, it's there but it's not nearly as popular as they would like it to be. However, now they've got Halo, that that will bring it up tenfold. It it will expand the the fan base and make it an even bigger thing than it was before. This will bolster like it will make it just more more, more recognisable as a gaming platform, and overall it will just become more more accepted within a gaming community. This, along with refined spectator mode, will also increase population of the game. And what's really cool is you could spectate Snipe down, uh, who I have to say, uh, if you didn't see it, the sick triple kill in the finals a few weeks back, that was brilliant. If you haven't watched it, watch it. You can watch him like, in practice with his teammates, or you can watch him actually play in the, in the HCS. So you can watch him either on Twitch, on MLG, maybe you've done that, maybe on YouTube Gaming, and you can watch him on your Xbox through the Halo engine. Now that is insane. I'm so happy with that. Um, I mean, spectator mode is a long, long thing that Halo fans have wanted. And this is the first time we've got it. And I have to say, it's looking very, very good. Now, there's one thing that, I don't know, it's a bit sketchy to be honest. AR and pistol starts. And there's my phone again. Oh, you didn't realise beforehand I actually my phone went off when I was pre recording this commentary. Let's forget about that. Um AR and pistol starts. Now, I'm not gonna lie, 
I'm not a fan of the AR. I, I even thought the SMG was better than the AR in the uh, beta. So, I'm not particularly uh, a big fan of the AR. But, and it's always been the BR. <sighs> I don't know what to think. But, on the other hand, I've heard people say, including Optic Flame Sword, that the pistol is actually really good. And that is actually amazing. That is actually really, that's music to my ears, actually, to be honest with you. I, I really like the pistol, and it's just been, ever since, well, Halo 3, it just wasn't the same as, obviously it was never the same as Halo 1. I quite like the Halo Reach pistol, and the Halo 4 pistol was exceptional. Really, really good. But it's good to see the pistol come back. Um, there were, he also talked about how the BRs along the map, there was a, quite a few of them, and the respawn times were f pretty short. And it was actually based on when you picked them up, not when they're dropped. So that's brilliant. That's really good to hear. That means there will be a surplus rec uh, surplus number of BRs on the map, and that's really good to hear. I'm, I'm happy to hear about that. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. I hope you haven't... I'm a little bit rusty on my commentary skills at the moment. As my phone goes off halfway through. Um, but anyway guys, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. What you think of competitive Halo. Personally, I think it's going really well. I did a video a while back to competitive. We'll have to wait and see about that. But at the moment, competitive Halo is on the up. MLG's back. Hey, YouTube gaming is in the mixer. Spectator mode back. Oh, there, the four bits there. Anyway guys, that's all from me. Like, subscribe, and Twitch, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Peace out.